Hello, this is Raymond Aaron, your monthly mentor, and my job right now is to unveil to you possibly the most important module in the entire monthly mentor program, and it's delegation. You might say, delegation? Oh my gosh, I'm just a fill in the blank, thinking that maybe you don't have the right to delegate. You might say, I'm not Donald Trump, I'm not Bill Gates, how can I possibly delegate? I don't have an organization, I don't have the funds to do it. No. When you understand the way I teach delegation, you will realize that you can not only delegate, but when you do, your life will blossom. Now, before we figure out how to do it, let's talk about why we should do it. What is the purpose of delegating? When you hear this, it'll resonate in your heart. The purpose of delegating is not just to get something done, not just to have somebody do something that you don't want. No, it, it's far more senior and more spiritual and more emotional than that. The purpose of delegating is so that you can be yourself. The purpose of delegating is so that you can truly be yourself. Here's an example. I'm not really good at raking the lawn. Actually, I'm terrible at raking the lawn. Every day in the fall, the tree on our front lawn sheds lots and lots of beautifully colored leaves. And every day when I come home, I say, I should clean that. At least I used to many years ago before I understood delegation. I should clean that. And every day as the fall wore on, I would keep saying it with more embarrassment and less self-esteem. I'd say, I, I should clean those leaves. And then the snow came and covered up all the leaves and I got some momentary relief until the spring came and the snow went away and the leaves had disappeared but they turned into brown mush which ruined the lawn and I felt horrible. And so now what I realize is if fall after autumn after fall after autumn I've never raked those darn leaves then it's something that I'm completely incompetent at. Now I do have the motor skills to rake and I do have a physical rake but it never happens, and so I'm incompetent. I'm incompetent getting it started, I'm incompetent doing it. I'm really competent at other things, but raking those leaves, it just never happens. Can you think of things that you want to do, but you never get around to it? Well then stop trying to do it, because you're never ever gonna get around to it. And if you occasionally do it, it's only after just tons of procrastination and lots of embarrassment and lowered self-esteem, you might as well delegate it. Delegate anything you're not great at. Why? Because the few things you're great at, you're probably worth hundreds of thousands of dollars a year if you could only do that all the time. But you fill up your year with so much stuff that you're really lousy or mediocre or average at that your income isn't hundreds of thousands, it's whatever it is, but you see, you average the few minutes or hours you spend each year doing what you're spectacular at, or weeks or months, whatever it is, with so much time spent doing things that you're lousy at. Now, if you do your own tax returns and math isn't your favorite subject, if you do housework and you're really not very good at fixing things around the house, then you're doing a mediocre job. If you aren't the person that you would hire to do that job, then stop doing it. There's a great line, and that is, if you don't have an assistant, you are one. If you don't have an assistant, you are one. Well, let's take a person, a man or a woman, who's earning, let's say, $100,000 a year as an executive, and they have an assistant earning, let's say, $50,000 a year. We'll just use those numbers. And the reason the assistant's there is to do all the things that the executive shouldn't be bothered about so the executive can actually be doing a $100,000 a year job for the $100,000 a year salary. Well, let's take you. Maybe there's lots of things in your life that you're doing on your own as if you're your own assistant. Well, if you want to earn $100,000 and your assistant would earn $50,000, then you're going to spend some of your time doing $100,000 stuff and some of your time doing $50,000 a year stuff, which means your income will, will tend to average out at maybe sixty or $70,000. You're worth $100,000, but you're only going to get sixty or seventy dollars because you're doing so much that's only worth $50,000. Now, that was just a $100,000 and $50,000 example. For you, it could be very different. Maybe you're earning far less and you think you can't afford an assistant. It's just an example. The important point is you can actually have people 
working with you and for you absolutely for free. And in this module on delegation, you're going to learn how, how to have people work for you absolutely for free and love it. You see, if a friend asked you for a favor, you'd probably eagerly say yes, and yet you might be hesitant to ask a friend for a favor. You'll learn how to ask for favors. You'll learn how to do joint ventures with people. In other words, I'll do this for you and you do this for me so we can each help each other. And what I do for you is what I love to do and what I do really well. And what you do for me is what you do really well. So there's lots of ways to get teamwork going. There's lots of ways to have delegation done at a very low price, a price you can easily afford. So the benefit of having dramatically higher income, the benefit of being able to truly be yourself, and the benefit of having those jobs that you can't stand doing and always procrastinate, not only done, but done well on your behalf, those are some of the benefits that you'll get from this amazing delegation module.